All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Survival HQ here. So I thought today I'd put a video together, a little bit different video. And before you get too carried away, hear me out. And let me uh, tell you what I got to say about what this is about. So in my bug out bag, I carry three flashlights. My primary, my headlamp, and then my emergency backup. So my primary is a very good quality, very good durable flashlight, tactical flashlight, very bright, closing in on a thousand lumens. You know, very good quality flashlight, costs a lot of money. My headlamp, obviously keep my hands free. Uh, very good, uh, you know, very good to have a good headlamp, nice and bright, lots of modes. Very good quality as well. So put those two aside. Let's talk about the third level of preparedness, the third item in my, uh, my, light, uh, my light setup for my bug out bag. And it is the Energizer, weather ready, 3 LED, solar, carabiner, crank, flashlight yes what a mouthful so i picked this up at my local target that was closing this last year or so two years ago a year and a half ago uh, i think they're got it for around five or six dollars now on amazon i see them they're around eleven dollars so let's talk about specs first before i get into philosophy of use 131 grams just over four ounces 4.63 inches by one and a half inches <coughs> excuse me has a carabiner clip here, clip on your pants, on your bag, hang from a tent, uh, clipping it to the outside of the bag so it can charge is where I would have it on my bug out bag. Nice little dark black push button here, three decently bright LEDs, 20 lumens, so good quality third level light, especially seeing how it's crank driven or solar for that matter. <coughs> When uh, they say when you crank it for one minute, it produces three minutes of light. Uh, to be honest, uh, I think they're undershooting their quality. You crank it for one minute, you can get upwards of 10 minutes of light minimum. So, I mean, not requiring batteries and they're very durable, borderline indestructible. This is a great little emergency flashlight. So let's talk about philosophy of use. I mean... Don't knock it. It is a little heavy and it is a little bulky, but we're talking about the same size as a cell phone. And if you put this in your bag as your triple backup method, you know, your emergency go-to, with this solar, one form, cranking another two, decent output lumens in 20 lumens, and carabiner clip, you know, LED built to last forever. I mean, this is a very good... Backup to your backup to your backup. And I mean, I like to have it as a backup, but you can keep it around the house, keep it in your car, keep it for when the power goes out, you know, or a very good use. I give it to my daughter. She plays with it when she's outside. It's better than burning through my good flashlights with my good uh, good batteries. Here you go. I give it to her. Here you go. Knock yourself out. Crank it and go have some fun. And it is durable. I mean, she's beaten uh, this one up quite bad. And I mean, it's uh, looks basically brand new. So yeah, these are great as your emergency for your bug up bag. Uh, I recommend uh, anyone who has, uh, uh, you know, looking to have uh, three forms of light, you know, the rule of threes. This is a good emergency version and inexpensive. Definitely worth an ad. So anyways, guys, please uh, know a little bit of an odd video, but please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, don't be shy. Think about these uh, types of methods when it comes to bug up bags. It doesn't always have to be the most expensive. It doesn't have to be the most flashy I mean, it's all about getting the job done, and uh, sometimes on a budget, we gotta you gotta save our money for for other costs that we want to splurge on a little bit, and look at other ways to uh, recoup some of those funds and and use them elsewhere. Anyways, guys, thank you very much. Please like, share, and subscribe to my video. And as always, guys, I'll be back again uh, as soon as I can with another video. Take care.